Hello folks, today I'm going to discuss if Five Nights at Freddy's is a nightmare slash dream or reality. Now I actually thought a lot of this through as the Five Nights at Freddy's is sort of a mix of paranormal activities, spirits, and nightmarish creatures and animatronics. Now we could say we're in a dream or night realm, well nightmare, of a child's mind. I did do a video about it. Now, if this truly was a nightmare and wasn't real, let's look at the realistic standpoints. As I know it kills it a bit, but this is quite interesting. Now, the realistic time. Realistically, if Purple Guy was killed, he would not have survived the spring locks. He would have died and that would have been it for him. Realistically, the pizzeria would have been shut down, dead on the spot, and the animatronics would have been dismantled. Purple Guy would have been caught way sooner before the extra murders, and there wouldn't be anything of spirits besetting them. It would have been a glitch in the system, and there would have been no bite of 87, none of all the stuff. But could this be... Maybe a child's nightmare? Because we're stuck in our office and we can't really move. We could have had the choice of not coming here the second night. So, whose dream could this be? Could it be Scott's dream? Could it be the first child's dream? Could it be the puppets? Or could it be the purple guy? Maybe this is the purple guy's nightmare. Maybe it's the children's nightmare. Why everything in reality is moving on, these kids have nightmares every night. Maybe when it hits midnight, the nightmare starts, and when it hits to 6am, the nightmare ends and they live another day. But if they die between 12am to 6am, they die in real life. It may refer to another movie, which is kind of thing like you die in the Ring Dream World, you're actually dead in the real, in the Awakening World. Because a lot of this stuff is more kiddie based. So, if six children were murdered, why would this child have dreams or maybe vis visions of the murders? Maybe this mystery child has plays the roles of the security guards. Jeremy Fitzgerald, Mike Smith, the other guy, and try and stop Purple Guy, Phone Guy, as everyone is predicting, from murdering anyone else. Which makes sense, after all. The animatronics ignore a lot of laws and physics. Realistically, if they can't move around on the stage, they would have stayed on the stage and wouldn't have the ability to move. There's not really that many animatronics these days in the 21st century as a lot of them are creeped out. Well, creepy for some. The murderer would have been caught by the FBI years before 1987. But something so friendly could turn so evil and scary it's hard to think to see something that is built to entertain children and to be innocent to somehow be scary and threatening. It depends on your point of view and fear. Now yes, you could say, well, obviously this is in a realistic set. Well, it, to me, it feels like a dream. Because if I was in this realm of Five Nights of Rays, I would have just walked out the door with a Fazbear head and just make it out alive instead of just sitting on my ass. It's the same with the horror attraction. Realistically, you would hallucinate, but you wouldn't see it fully that it would actually affect you much. Same with being stuffed in a suit, it's highly unlikely to stuff someone in a suit as you would show resistance against an animatronic. Animatronics are not built to stand aggressiveness against other people. 
It's same with Golden Freddy. Realistically, they wouldn't go through walls. So is this whole Five Nights at Freddy's a dream or a nightmare to some child or to a killer? It's hard to debate. Or maybe the killer has these nightmares of visions of him dreaming of his first murder, his next murders, and he sees his own death and future. Maybe he changes his ways. Or this is maybe the first child's nightmare seeing the children murdered, the purple guy ready to kill, and all hell breaking loose. It's interesting enough. I want you guys to comment. Do you think Five Nights at Freddy's is a dream? A nightmare? Or do you think it's a realistic base? Because there's a lot of supernatural stuff. If you think it's a dream, do you think it's Purple Guy's dream? A child's dream? Or Mike Smith or Scott Gaines' dreams? Or nightmare? Comment down below what you think. Could it be predicting the future for the victims or something? This is something I'm interested of sharing. With that said, don't let the animatronics bite at night.